एंड दी ऑनरेबल स्पीकर टोल्ड मी दैट वाई यू गेटिंग सो एक्साइटेड अबाउट दिस ये तो आतंकवादियों का लिए है एंड आई रिमेम्बर आंसरिंग सेंग दैट सर इफ दिस बिल कम्स इन टूमोरो देर इज अ रिस्क ऑफ ऑल ऑफ आस बिकम आतंकवादीज and the uap has been misused and today we have a fear that this bill itself may be misused which is why we are standing up today sir fair disturb maine kya kaha tha ki itna kyun virodh kar rahe ho sir wo record mein hai sir main khatam aapne bola ki adhyaksh mahode ne yes, kaha yes sir wo record mein hai aap itna virodh kyun kar rahe ho ye aapne kaha tha ki aap itna aap kabhi bhi adhyaksh ke mamle mein bolte samay main aapko phir keh raha hu ki bina koi authentic tipni ke लिए आसन के बारे में मत बोला करो अच्छा आप देख लीजिएगा रिकॉर्ड सर है रिकॉर्ड में आपने कहा था ठीक है सो व्हाट इज इट दैट इज सो डेंजरस अबाउट दिस बिल दिस लॉ कॉल रखते हुए कैसे बात कर सकते हैं आसन के खिलाफ रिकॉर्ड इज इन देयर इट इज इन द लोकसभा इन द आर्काइव सर नो नो यू हैव टू यू हैव टू पुट द रिकॉर्ड पहले सदन में स्थगित करके रिकॉर्ड दिखाओ आई कैन शो यू इन द स्पीच लेट मी फिनिश आई शुड शो द स्पीच मैंने आपको रिकॉर्ड का कॉपी रखना चाहिए कभी भी सदन के If it's not on the record, explain. Which live explains? Is it so simple? पहले बोल जाओ फिर explain करो. ये कोई तरीका है. Live live telecast होता है सर. Live telecast में देखा है सर. देखा है. Stand by. अध्यक्ष जी ने अध्यक्ष जी ने बोलो क्या क्या? अध्यक्ष जी ने बोलो क्या क्या? ये बताओ आप. क्या अध्यक्ष जी ने बोलो क्या क्या? ये बताइए. आपकी बात का अध्यक्ष जी ने तो बोलो क्या ना? I am sure the honourable speaker sir has already addressed me, Mr. Meghwal. Please, I would advise you. Please let me finish. Thank you. The law speaker sir has spoken. There is no need for you. There is no need for you, Nishikant ji. The speaker sir has spoken. Please sit down. The speaker has spoken to me. Sit down. The speaker has addressed me. I have accepted it. This law is being proposed in the absence of any overreaching data protection law, which India so desperately needs today. Five years ago, we mentioned the data protection law. It is still not being brought in. you are saying that there has been advance of technology in the last decade which is why we need to repeal it but with the advance of technology there is a flip side the state has even greater powers of surveillance so when we in this house authorize any legal expansion of the ambit of these powers we need to ensure that these powers can be controlled can be regulated the old act was only photographs and fingerprints now you've added retina you've added biological samples behavioral so we are signing off basically all of us on much greater powers of the state so we need to put in very solid safeguards this bill has no such safeguards the malafides of this bill are apparent not only in the unconstitutional provisions it seeks to enforce but it seeks to blur out all distinction any and all distinction between an under trial a detainee a suspect and a convict and it is using the words a person involved in any crime it's a very broad sweep the expansion of this ambit of the laws operation to people who have been arrested for any offence include people under preventive detention laws so therefore the privacy of individuals who are not convicted of any wrongdoing are been put at the mercy of the state if i i would like to quote faiz ahmed faiz who said tere ilzam bhi sang e dushnam bhi so you're putting not only ilzam you're also giving us infamy the 1920 law enabled the taking of measurements from convicts sentenced to a prison term of at least 1 year and anyone arrested on a charge that attracted a prison term of only 1 year and thirdly one who has punished a bond for good behavior this bill this present bill includes all convicts and anyone arrested under any law or detained even under preventive detention it is increasing the offences from minimum of 1 year to 7 years imprisonment under section 3 but as mr tiwari pointed out the proviso to section 3 has been very poorly drafted if it is intended to mean that a person who has been arrested with a connection with an offence punishable with less than 7 years it is a good thing however the use of the word may in that section itself is an escape route because when you use it with the power of the magistrate to order the taking of measurements it is nullifying this beneficial aspect of this proviso so if section 3 read with section 5 and the introduction of preventive detention is making this far more draconian than the existing law i would really request you to look into this so i suggest that the word may in section 3 be changed to shall and it be clarified that under section 5 the magistrate has no power to direct a person arrested for offences punishable with less than 7 years otherwise section 3 is completely nullified another dangerous thing about this bill the average life expectancy of indians is 69.6 years you are permitting the retention of records for 75 years and you are allowing the national crime records bureau the ncrb to share and disseminate personal data with any law enforcement agency 
This violates the best practices of data protection, which is the principle of purpose limitation, which means that you can collect data legitimately for one purpose, but it must be used for that purpose. It cannot be used for another purpose. There's a very vague term in this bill. It says investigation and prosecution of crime. So you can have agencies all over the country with no purpose limitation having access to your personal data. And the collection of data for personal data for some crimes may be very necessary. We understand that. But there is no distinction between those crimes and other crimes. It's a very wide sweep, which can be very dangerous. Now, this bill will make the thanedar, the thanedar, the dreaded thanedar, even more dangerous. It gives virtual carte blanche to the police for sample collection. The old 1920 Act authorized police officers of the rank of sub-inspector and above. This new bill is letting police officers not below the rank of a head constable and prison officers not below the rank of a head warden to take measurements. So it's lowered the threshold. And if you refuse to take these measurements, that is an offense under section 186, which is obstruction of duty for public servant, as Mr. Maran pointed out, of the IPC. Now this bill is allowing police and police prison officials to collect measurements irregardless of the refusal. This is a violation of fundamental rights and this is going to shut out any dissent. This is the vagueness and overbreadth of several provisions is extremely concerning. Now there's no appeal mechanism. If the magistrate says directing it, there's no appeal mechanism against the decision of the magistrate. The most dangerous and insidious aspect of this proposed law is the grouping of those booked for preventive detention. So Indian citizens, like all of us sitting here in the opposition, we can be arrested or detained even before the commission of any act of criminality. You may think we will do something, you may think we will say something and we could be put under preventive detention. So before doing anything, you can take me and I will be grouped with those arrested for serious offenses and convicts. So if this bill becomes a law, I mean, we are entering a full-fledged police state. Any opposition will be brutalized into silence. Now, that is something we must safeguard against. The Home Ministry says, trust us. Yes, we would like to trust you, Mr. Home Minister, but even in UAPA, look at its misuse. You brought in this bill, look at its misuse. I was looking at Mr. Kishan Reddy, who was our Minister of State for Home, putting out the numbers. And if you look at the increase in the number of UAPA cases from 16 to 19, 5,000 cases were registered and 7,000 people were arrested in the period 16 to 19, but only 2.2% of cases were resulting in a conviction. <laughs> Preventive detention, 177 politicians arrested in Kashmir after revocation of Article 70, 370, 71 from National Conference, 35 from PDP. When the CAA protests happened, 1,100 people were under arrest, 5,500 kept in preventive detention. There was a 28% increase in the number of sedition cases filed each year. Each year, 28% increase between 14 and 20. So if you look at the arrest of journalists, detentions of journalists in India, I was reading a report by the Free Speech Collective, and it said in the last 10 years, 154 journalists in India were detained, arrested. 67 of these were in 2020 alone. I'm going to now read a quote from the Supreme Court judgment, the state of Andhra Pradesh versus Chala Ramakrishna Reddy, year 2000. The right to life is one of the basic human rights. It is guaranteed to every person by Article 21 of the Constitution, and not even the state has the authority to violate that right. A prisoner, be he a convict, or under trial, or a detainee does not cease to being a human being. On being convicted of crime and deprived of their liberty with the procedure established by law, prisoners still retain the residue of constitutional rights. Our democracy, however flawed, seeks to give each Indian equal rights as human beings. Our laws are based on the principle of innocent till proven guilty. I will quote the poet Javed Akhtar, and he says it very nicely. He says, Mujhe dushman se bhi khuddari ki umeed hai. मुझे दुश्मन से भी खुददारी की उम्मीद है किसी का भी सर किसी का भी सर कदमों में सर अच्छा नहीं लगता कदमों में सर अच्छा नहीं लगता प्रोसीजर आइडेंटिफिकेशन बिल 2022 the present bill is introduced by the government of india to authorize for taking measurement of convict and other persons for the purpose of identification and investigation in criminal matters and to preserve the record and same it needs of our बहुत जब से हम ये बिल पे चर्चा कर रहे हैं, it is a very small change. अभी तक जो क्रिमिनलों के साथ होता है, या जो जिसके साथ ऐसा हुआ है, उसके अगेंस्ट क्रिमिनल को सजा देने के लिए जो भी प्रोसीजर करी जाती है, सब बिखरी चीजों को एक जगह लाकर ये बिल में उतारा गया है।
इसमें कोई नई चीज ये देश में करना और आज हम बोलते हैं कि अब्रॉड के बड़ी बड़ी कंट्रियों के साथ हमने कंपीट करना चाहिए कंपटीशन करना चाहिए उनके लेवल में आना चाहिए तो इस चीज में क्यों लेवल में नहीं उतरना चाहिए इस चीज के लिए भी उनके मुकाबले हमने खड़ा रहना चाहिए और क्रिमिनल को सजा होनी चाहिए पहले कहावत हम सुनते थे कि चोर की दाढ़ी में तिनका यही वाला हाल है यहाँ पर इस हाउस में कि जो डरता है वो ये चीज को अगेंस्ट में बोलता है मुझे लगता है डर के कारण ये सब चीजें बाहर निकल रही है बिकॉज इन रिसेंट टाइम्स बिकॉज इन महुआ माई फ्रेंड शी स्पोक इन अ वेरी अग्रेसिव दिस थिंग शी वॉज वेरी अगेंस्ट फॉर दिस बिल पर मुझे लगता है अगर कुछ चीजें लोगों को न्याय देने के लिए ये देश में अगर काम करना चाहिए कुछ रिस्ट्रिक्शन आनी चाहिए कुछ सख्ताई आनी चाहिए तो हर नियम और कायदे में ये सख्ताई लानी बहुत जरूरी है तब जाके क्राइम और क्रिमिनल्स हमारे देश में कम होंगे ये इसका सबसे बड़ा उदाहरण है जो कुछ करेगा नहीं उसे कुछ डर नहीं तो मुझे लगता है जो नहीं कर रहा वो ये सब चीजों में फेवर में बात कर रहे हैं और जहां जहां डर है उनके शब्द ऑटोमेटिक निकल रहे हैं सो मेनी एक्यूज पर्सनली केम टू बी रिलीज ऑन बेल ड्यूरिंग पेंडेंसी ऑफ ट्रायल ऑफ कॉन्विक्ट कॉन्विक्ट वॉज रिलीज ऑन परोल और फरोल वेर नॉट ट्रैक्ड आउट एंड दे सक्सेसफुली फ्लू अवे From the clutches of law by changing their visible appearance, they started to live life of another identifiant and evade the penalty imposed upon them. Evade the expected penalty which is expected to impose upon them. The present bill is advanced step to the legislative intent to decrease the workload of court and investigation agencies. The bill is opposed on the count that it is unconstitutional as if it affects the right. the right to privacy but the right to privacy is all together a different thing than the intent act of government there is no reason to create hangama on this against this bill because even previously if is a accused is convict by the trial court then the said accused was under obligation to give fingerprints before sending him to jail and there was no choice with the accused to refuse the same so now there is no justification to oppose the bill by saying that it contains force the proposed bill is nothing but the advanced form of identification with availability of advanced technologies mujhe lagta hai ki technology agar nayi cheeze laenge nahi तो देश आगे कहां बढ़ेगा नहीं तो 70 इयर्स से हम जहां पे थमे हैं वहां पे ही हम रुके थे 370 लाए थे तब भी तकलीफ थी और अगर एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी लाते हैं आइडेंटिफिकेशन करवाते हैं तब भी तकलीफ है मुझे लगता है ऑपोजिशन को हर बात में इसके अगेंस्ट तकलीफ है क्योंकि ये काम अच्छा कर रहे हैं और हमारे होम मिनिस्टर हर चीज में सक्षम है चाहे वो कश्मीर के मुद्दे को लेके हो या देश की सिक्योरिटी के मुद्दे को लेकर हो या सेना पे हमारे सैनिक लड़ते हैं उनके फेवर में बात की जाए मेरे महाराष्ट्र में कलीग के ज्यादा आवाज आती है महाराष्ट्र में जिस तरीके से पुलिस हमारे जितने भी लोग बे कोई भी जुर्म नहीं करते हैं ऐसे निर्दोष लोगों पे कार्रवाइया कर रहे हैं वहां उस पर बोलना हमें बहुत जरूरी है आप मेरे भाई जैसे हो और महाराष्ट्र को बिलोंग करते हैं आपने हमारी एक मैडम का नाम लिया अधिकारियों का नाम लेना इस सभाग्रह में जिसकी ऑलरेडी कोर्ट में जुडिशरी काम कर रही है उस पर नाम लेना कुछ उचित नहीं है आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी सब आर्टिकल थ्री स्पीक्स अबाउट द ह्यूमेनिटी टू एक्यूज अगेंस्ट सेल्फ इनक्रिमिनेशन एंड दिस बिल नो वेर क्रिएट्स एविडेंस ऑफ अ पर्सन विच कैन बी यूज एज एविडेंस एज अगेंस्ट हिम बट इट रिलेट्स रिलेटेड टू द आइडेंटिफिकेशन द बिल कॉन्सियसली बॉट टू सैटर्ड प्रोग्रेस ऑफ आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ एक्यूज इन द एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोस्टिट्यूट Existing, the progress includes arrests which contains photographs. Article twenty one of Constitution speaks. I know I can do some mistake. Uh, con- uh, speaks about expectation which says no person shall be deprived of his life of or liberty. Experts, according to the established by the law and proposed bill, is just fair, responsible, and proper, which is perfectly maintained balance and right of privacy and maintenance of record of accused. Regarding this identification, and I would wholeheartedly support this bill and this government and the department. The way this department is working and our government, which is working in the right way, the crime is working in the right way. Not that crime is increasing, but that crime is increasing. Thank you so much.